What is good, Jitlitz? Um, dude, what a long time coming. Finally made it to Puerto Rico. Um, this is not the official setup, I know. It still looks like shit. We're gonna get shit going on um, in the background, like over there probably. Um, and this is going to be the new trading arena, the trading space. It's actually like, you guys can't see it, but it is the perfect area just for like a desk and like hella screens. It's like a little nook in my bedroom. Um, super fire. But that is not what we're here to talk about. That's for the vlog shit. Um, this is all about you jits, okay? So... This video, you aren't going to learn anything. This is going to be kind of like our little contract between me and you, and I need every single one of you guys to watch this, or else I know damn well you guys are going to bitch the fuck out of this. Um, and this is going to be a two-way agreement, okay, because, you know, obviously you guys are going to be benefiting from this, um, and that's my hope, is that you benefit from this and can eventually turn profitable from this, but I need something in return. And the only thing I need in return is just your compliance. You guys actually doing what I'm telling you to, um, not only taking bits and pieces and applying it, I mean using everything um, and listening to what I say and actually doing what I say, do the homework that I give you, listen to the lessons, you know, if not one time, you know, two times or three times, multiple times. So you can really understand this because I know I am going to put myself through a lot of work to get out these videos to you guys every single day. I just got to Puerto Rico. I just got to my fucking nice ass house, right? Where I easily could be able to just say, all right, boys, I'll catch you. You'll see one video a month from me. I'll be on the beach if you wanna find me, right? But I'm not going to do that. Um, I understand that you guys are here to learn and what better of a time to start than fucking summer when you guys have no school. Um, so instead of homework from your dumbass teachers, you get homework from an actual dumbass, me. Um, so uh, I just think this will be extremely beneficial for you guys. So this is all I ask that one, you guys listen to me, you understand um, what I'm giving you, and if you don't understand, ask the question in the comments because I'll be looking through these and trying to help you guys um, as much as possible. And then also, doing the full thing, okay? I don't want you guys to be here and think, oh yeah, maybe I'll look at a couple, TG a, a, a couple of TJR's course videos. No, bro. This is meant to be start to fucking finish. This is, this is a fucking boot camp, right? You guys have to be watching these videos every single day because there's going to be an upload every single day. And if you miss an upload from one day, go back and watch the one that you missed and the one that day, okay? Because there's going to be one of these uploaded every single fucking day for you guys to watch, all right? And... If I'm making a video for you guys every single day, I know damn well that you guys can watch a video every single day because I got a lot of shit to do. I have to figure out still a lot of things for Puerto Rico. I have to get a car. I have to um, fucking get bank accounts set up. I have to move my business over here. I got lots of shit to do. Boogie's not even here yet. We got shit to do, but here I am making a video for you guys. So I know if I can find time in my day, it's literally, it's literally 8 p.m. right now. I could be in my hot tub, um, but here we are. So let's not make this um, a waste of my time or your time, okay? Again, I know we are not learning shit right now, but this is essentially lesson one. Fucking listen and fucking act, take action. Um, and that's one of the biggest things. A lot of people want to sit here and say, Oh yeah, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. Why don't you? Because you're too scared to take action. So lesson one of the fucking course is take action, okay? And we're going to go into some just lessons and shit that involve taking action. So hopefully this can get you guys motivated for what is to come. So 
if we just go back to when I first started trading, I initially wanted this thing to be a get rich quick type of situation because I didn't have a lot of money, um, but I wanted a lot of money and I wanted a lot of money fast. And I'm assuming that's a, like a lot of you guys. Well, news flash, I can get you rich quick, just not as quick as you would like, okay? So you guys are expecting to get rich in one week, sometimes even a fucking day. It's never gonna happen, okay? A week, a day, a month, two months, three months. None of those are going to happen at all, okay? Forget that, forget about that completely. Welcome to the real world where you can potentially and honestly likely get rich in one to two years. And that is quick. So you can get rich quick from this. It just is longer than your idea of quick. Okay, so I was in the same position as you and I wanted to do all this shit, right? So what did I do? Fucking little baby TJR goes onto his computer, day trading for beginners. I'm sure you guys looked that shit up, watched a couple videos, and it just left me even more confused than, you know, where I was at the beginning, which was still very confused. <laughs> um, and I saw a bunch of videos pretty much saying, this is the strategy that made me X amount of money, or I made X amount of money trading this strategy. I use this strategy to have a 100% win rate. I use this strategy to get a one to three risk to reward ratio every single time and it hits 100% of the time. Pretty much scrolling through lies and 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 lies all over the fucking internet because none of that shit was true. All those strategy videos, bullshit. Okay, fucking cap, okay? Um, because they did not turn me into what I thought I was going to become and what those thumbnails and titles promised. And yes, obviously there's some clickbait there. Um, so you can't just say, well, the title, you know, whatever. Okay, that's not my point. My point is I was in the same exact position as you and also with way worse information. So now here we are with hopefully what I'm about to give you, which is great information, um, and a blank slate. So I want you guys to completely forget about every little fucking thing that you ever thought you knew about trading. That would be step one. Forget everything because we are going to start from the beginning, okay? Um, there's no reason to try and ask extra questions. Well, what about a fair value? Yeah, shut up. We'll get to it. Okay, what about equilibrium? Shut your mouth. We'll get there, okay? And I'll explain it in the most third grade, honestly, even first grade type of comprehension, type of level for you guys to understand it because I know there are several of you on that, on that education level. And don't worry, I'm there too for some subjects, just not trading, okay? Which means I can I can scale it down, right? I can I can talk about trading on a fucking Einstein level. I know I look like a dumbass, and I know most of the times that I explain trading, you know, sounds pretty simple. I keep it I keep it simple. I keep it smooth brained, right? There's no there's no ridges in our brains over here, right? We don't got much going up over here, all right? Um, but that's okay. Because if I am able to do this, you guys can too, okay? So step number one, forget everything and stop looking so deep into shit, okay? Um, I'm going to give this to you as real as it gets, all right? Um, and not many people do that on these apps, on YouTube, on TikTok, um, really anywhere. So hopefully you guys can learn um, a thing or two about just being fucking real with yourself. Um, and that's another thing, just being fucking real with yourself. Um, admit when you are wrong, understand when you are wrong and understand how you can improve on it. Um, that was one of the biggest things for me when I started trading was me making mistakes um, and then blaming it on the market, blaming it on my strategy, thinking I have to switch strategies because of it. None of that was true. It was my fault and my fault only because I incorrectly read the market. And you guys need to get to that point of understanding as well. 
Okay, so continuing on, back, little baby TJR types in his videos, gets a bunch of bullshit, and is led through just the fucking chaos of the day trading community, and if anything, it has gotten worse since then, um, but I am here to change that. So, I'm, you know, scrolling through the bullshit, doing the same shit that you guys have done, signing up to... 10 fucking signal groups at a time taking every single signal and losing my whole account um i bought three different courses all of them were shit um hopefully my course on youtube is better than the courses that i paid two thousand dollars for and honestly my course is going to be longer and more in depth so i can already safely say that it's better just for the fact that it's free and it's information um so I went through all of that, um, and that is another thing you guys need to understand. I was in your position at one point in time. You guys, like, I'll be making a TikTok video saying, hey, um, you know, like, I did this, and everyone's like, holy shit, like, I, I just did that yesterday, or I did that today. And it's like, I know. <laughs> I know, guys. I know that you're doing this shit. Cause I was there. You're acting like you're acting like I jumped on my phone and was able to make a hundred bands in a week, like, like after a day of learning a strategy. This shit took years, man. And that's again, right? You guys have to understand. It's going to take some time, okay? But I was in your position too, okay? Every single mistake you made, I made it five times. Every single fucking. Like I, like, I was scammed in this space. I literally sent like $5,000 to somebody and never got a reply back. Um, I've been through it fucking all, okay? Like, whatever you're thinking of, I've probably done it, okay? Because it took me a while to turn profitable, okay? And that leads me to the next part of the story where I finally decided to say, you know what? Fuck this shit. Um, I hate this. I, I, I genuinely don't like this but I still want to do it. I know it doesn't make sense. I just hated the community. I hated what I was learning. And I literally just decided, I said, well, I know people are making money from this, but I'm not learning shit from watching these YouTube videos. So why don't I put some time between just me and the market? So I literally removed every single indicator, removed everything from my charts and just started watching the market. Okay, and I think that is where I saw my the most growth, okay, um, was putting time between myself and the market. And there's, n there's nothing that can speed up that process. Um, it's the same thing as if, you know, like you're giving someone a basketball. I use this analogy all the time, right? If you just sit there and watch um, highlight reels, right. Of people, you know, dunking on someone, you know, hitting a crazy dribble move, hitting a good jump shot. You can watch all of that you want, but you will never be able to recreate it unless you start practicing. So you can sit there, watch my videos say, Oh yeah, this is how TJR made 25 K today. I don't think you guys understand how much money that is. Do you understand how much money $25,000 is? That's, that's a down payment on over a hundred thousand dollar car in a day okay that's a lot of money that that's that's close to what you know some people are making in a year right very poverty but still very close and that's in a day remember money is literally a unit of measurement a dollar is a unit of measurement so yes you might be saying twenty five thousand dollars to you tjr is nothing um it's like a dollar to, to you. No, no, 25K to me is the same 25K as it is to you. There's levels, okay? So you need to understand market experience. You need to understand that, hey, I am going to give you literally every piece of information you need, but that's not enough. That isn't going to get you to profitability. So there is going to be something on your end and that's what I'm asking of you. That's what this video is for because I'm asking you to do this for me because I'm going to give you everything but it won't be enough because you have to put that time in on the charts. You have to do this shit if you really want it. And that's really where, you know, little fucking boys turn into grown men. Um, doing the hard shit, doing the shit 
that just takes time, patience, and fucking effort. Doing the shit where you really don't want to and you do it. I was literally in my car five minutes ago, sitting in my driveway, saying, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I really don't wanna make this YouTube video. And I never promised to, I said, yeah, it's going to start when I get to Puerto Rico. You guys have no clue when I was going to show up. Yeah, you probably saw it on TikTok, whatever. But I could have started this shit whenever. I could have not even done this if I didn't want to. But I was sitting in there saying, damn, I really wanna sit in the hot tub right now, but I still have some shit to do. So I literally sat there in my car and I said, you're a little fucking bitch. Get the fuck up, go into your house, film this YouTube video, do the other shit that you still have to do, like make your fucking bank accounts, set up your business bank accounts, and then you can go in the hot tub. Oh yeah, also I still have to work out. And it's 8 fucking p.m. right around my bedtime. And here I am recording a fucking YouTube video when I could be in the hot tub, knocking out. There's levels, okay? Are you going to be the little fucking bitch that spends their entire summer, first of all, talking to zero females because we know you guys have no game? Let's be honest, okay? Spitting game to zero females. I would respect it if you're actually spending time with girls, okay? Are you? No. You're on your fucking controller, okay? So why don't we put away the fucking controller, all right? Put that shit away. No one gives a fuck about a video game, okay? Newsflash. I, again, same situation. I was in your situation before too, okay? I was on that damn game. Guess what? There's bigger things to life than fucking Roblox. There's bigger things to life than fucking Minecraft, okay? And I know I named just like the most fucking kindergarten ass games, but like there's more to life than fucking Call of Duty, okay? And there's nothing wrong with playing Call of Duty, nothing, okay? There's just a time and a place. And right the fuck now, summer, when you have no school, okay, and so much free time, this is going to take an hour out of your day. If you can't find, if you cannot find an hour of free time in your day, I already know you are a child, you are a little fucking bitch, and you have no motivation. If you can't find an hour in your day because, guess what? Check your phone screen time, check your TikTok time, check, check your Instagram time, check your Snapchat time. If those three add up to an hour, or if literally just one of those adds up to an hour, perfect. Take it out. Delete it. And change your fucking life this summer. Because I'm not here to just sit here. I'm, I'm not going to do this bullshit if you guys are going to treat this like a joke. Okay? I will literally stop this shit halfway through if you are treating this bitch like a fucking joke. Because I do not want to waste my time when I could be doing so many other things like actually improving my business. Actually creating new businesses with this fucking money. Right? I could be making so much more money doing something else with my time than doing this. But here I am. Okay, so if you aren't going to treat this with respect and with actual motivation and drive, I will treat it the exact same way that you guys are treating it. Like a little fuck you. So, this will be the fucking test. We'll see how many views this video gets. I'll see the retention, right? Whoever fucking watches this shit to the end, because no one wants to sit here and watch me talk for 20 minutes and gain literally zero information. No one wants to do that, but guess what? This is the fucking contract. So either you're going to type out in the fucking comment section saying, yes, I'm down, I'm for it, I'll do it, okay? Or you're going to be a fucking child. So what's it gonna be? You know, I can, I can do both. I, I can give my fucking all for you guys and I can do this, or I can go to the beach. I can get scuba certified. I can go buy my surfboard, I can go buy my new boogie board, I can go buy a skim board, I can go buy my e-foil, and I can be out on the beach every damn day not thinking about this. But that's not what I'm here for. We know why I'm here, right? I'm here to help you guys. I'm here so you guys can fucking do the shit that I'm doing. I just, I literally just moved into a $2 million house, bro. At 21, I just turned 21. So actually, and I actually bought this house before I turned 21. So I, homeowner at 20. Wouldn't it be nice to say that? Wouldn't it be nice for your parents to sit you down and say, I'm proud of you? 
So let's, let me help you get that done because I've been there. I've done that. So let me help you. It's actually absurd the amount of people that will sit there and question the shit that is literally being handed to them on a silver platter. Don't question this. Accept it with fucking open arms. Okay? Because this can turn into reality real fucking quick if you take it serious. Alright? So, let's take this shit seriously. Alright? That's all I ask. That's step one. Take this serious. Take me serious. And we'll go far, bro. Who knows even when this shit's gonna end? I could make this bitch last forever. As of right now, I think it's going to last two months. Two months a fucking every single day of uploading. See, I can go as far as I want, but I just don't know how long y'all can last. I really don't. That's the thing. How many, how many days in a row can you commit to this? Because whatever number you're about to say, whatever number you say, I'm about to say, I bet let's do 20 more. Let's do 30 more days than you think you can handle to actually see if you are about this shit. Because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take more than what you think you can handle. Your body can take literally 10 times more than your mind thinks it can. Right? There's that thing, that survival instinct, right? If you're hanging on the edge of a cliff, have you ever done a muscle up before? You probably haven't. But if you are hanging on the edge of a fucking cliff, Will you be able to do a muscle up? Probably. But when you're in the gym, you can't. The only difference, your life is on the line. The only difference, there's, there's no difference. It's just the head, right? It's just your head saying, you, you literally have to get the fuck up or you're dead. Versus in the gym, you're thinking, I can't do this. I've never done this. And everyone's going to look at me and embarrass me and you know judge me because I'm going to try and do this muscle up and then I can't. And I'm going to give up halfway through. Versus if you're on the edge of that cliff, you are going to get up no matter what at all costs. And that's what is going to, that's what it's going to take for this. Literally put yourself in a pit of despair. Put yourself so you have to do this to fucking survive because that's what happened to me. I literally had no money in my bank. I had a DoorDash on the fucking side but obviously that wasn't going to pay the bills. Door dashing does not pay the bills. But that shit was good enough to give me the money I needed to pay for food, to pay for some rent, okay? And then that's where my actual profit, profitability started. When I was like, holy shit, I need to take this serious. I need to get my life together and turn this shit around because I'm... I am literally at rock bottom. I knew that point was my bottom. I, because I was so miserable. I was so depressed. I was so broke. And I was so lost with my life. And I'm sure, I'm 100% I'm sure I'm talking to the right audience right now because I know a lot of you guys are in that situation. Okay? You don't know where your life is going to go. You don't want to go to school. You don't have a fucking... You know, you don't have a job. You're probably living with your parents or you're living in a place where rent is hard to pay. You're living paycheck to paycheck. That was me, okay? You're not going to get a handout, so do this shit yourself, all right? And every time I think about my past and think about back then, that time, that serious fucking depression, that fucking pit that I was in, I, bro, like I get so emotional thinking about that, thinking about how far I have come since then and thinking about how recent that was. That was, that was damn near three and a half years ago or like four years. That's not that long ago. That's not long at all. I was, I was in that shit, bro. And I made it out. All right. So here we are, you know, me telling you my life story of how I turned my shit around. I was honestly probably in a worse situation as you guys. You guys probably have a roof over your head. 
You guys got food, okay? You're not in literally $2,000 worth of debt to your bank because that was me. And I had to pay that shit off. And I did. And some. Now the bank is trying... Now, now I got Amex trying to get me a black card. Now I got the bank, like, asking me if I want to take out a loan. <laughs> There's levels to this shit. Okay, put yourself in a position where you're, you have no other option but to grow and to learn and to benefit from this shit. Put yourself in a position where there is, there is literally zero room for failure. Put yourself in a position where you put in so much fucking work into this shit that I'm about to give you. Put yourself in a position where there is no reason whatsoever for you to fail. Put yourself in that position and I promise you, Every single thing that you are manifesting, every single thing that you wish and you fucking dream, you will 5x it, bro. You will 5x that shit. And matter of fact, fucking 10x it. I made several TikTok videos about that old trading journal where I wrote down my manifestations every fucking day. I back then, bro, go back to that video on my TikTok. I said I wanted to grow my trading account to $10,000. And now I'm making $30,000 a day in one trade and I just wanted to grow my account to $10,000. <laughs> Life is crazy when you have motivation and fucking goals and you actually take action. So I'm encouraging you to take fucking action this summer and don't waste another year of your life doing nothing, going through the motions and being a regular fucking person. Because guess what? I am not regular. You like me because I am not normal. If I was a normal person, you wouldn't even know who the fuck I was. Am I wrong? If I was normal, if I was a NPC ass person, I would be nobody to you, but I'm not, I'm different and I'm encouraging you guys to be different too. And guess what? To be different, it takes one day. Not even that. It takes a second to change, to change your mindset, to change yourself from being, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to school today, gonna talk with my boys and then I'll play some video games, eat some Cheetos and go to bed. Be the type of person that you take steps to be the type of person that you look up to, okay? You guys probably look up to me. You, you probably think I am a role model. I am not very different than you guys whatsoever. <laughs> in fact, we're probably very similar in age, okay? You're probably saying, oh, you're three years older than me. Three years isn't much in the real world at all, actually right? Once you hit 30 and people, people are like, oh yeah, I'm 33. A 30 year old and a 33 year old are best friends in the real world. Y'all are, y'all are just in that, that little, you know, sectioned off area where eight, like one year of age is, you know, crazy. All right. But you got to take action, man. And you have to be different. And if you're afraid of being different, just click, bro, click that shit. Goodbye. Bye, because guess what? You cannot do this shit without being different. You can't do this shit without having a different mindset. And trust me, trust me, if you try and do it while still being irregular, if you try and do this half ass, you will not make it and you are wasting your fucking time. Might as well spend another hour on that damn game instead of watching this fucking video. I'm being dead serious. Might as well fucking buy a new game. Fuck it, man. You want to be a you want to be a normal ass person. You want to work a nine to five? Buy that new game. I don't give a fuck, cause I I won't I don't fuck with you. If you were going to half ass this shit, fuck you. Actually, no, don't fuck you. Whatever, do your thing. Do your thing, man. Do your thing, because I'm only here to hang around people that take shit serious. And and guess what? There's not much of that in the United States. There's a reason why all y'all are scared to be different. Me saying, take action, be different. Y'all are like probably sitting here tucked away in your bed, sucking your thumb. Okay. 
saying, I don't know if I can do what TJR is asking me to. I don't know if I can do that. Why? Why can't you? It doesn't take much at all. Why can't you do it? Because you're afraid. Because you're being a child. Stop being afraid. Stop being a bitch. And let's get some fucking work done this summer. That's it. Stop being afraid. Stop being self-conscious. Stop. Be, be so fucking confident in yourself in your mannerisms, in your personality, in your attitude. Love what you love, hate what you hate. There's a reason why you guys like me, man. Because I voice my opinion. Because I'm not afraid of what anybody else has to say to me. And you're probably saying, well, you can do that because you got money. Don't you want to be like me? Then your first step would be acting like it. The money comes second. The money always comes second. You have to do something first. You have to fucking take action first and the money comes second. Money always comes last, man. It always does. Every single time. Always comes last. Okay? So, I know I probably just insulted you in every fucking way this video. Good. Hopefully, that was a slap in the face because it's because to be honest, you know, I was being honest. I was insulting you. Take it as a fucking insult, right? Me personally, I'm a super competitive person. I hate when someone talks, talks reckless to me. That's why it's hard for me to deal with hate on the internet because I'm like, what the fuck? You're a little piece of shit. You're a little fucking bitch compared to me. And let me prove you wrong once again. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm, try I'm ready to prove every single fucking person in the world wrong about day trading. And the only way for me to do this, the only way for me to get this rep, the only way for me to actually change day trading is through you. So I'm going to make it my fucking goal because I don't, I don't got much improving to do, okay? I, I've been doing my shit with trading, but guess what? Nobody gives a fuck about that. I can say every, I can, sh I can show as much proof as possible there is still going to be haters, but when... I start changing people's lives. When I change your life, that's when people will change their mind. When it's not coming from me anymore, when it's coming from you. This is a two-way transaction. I'm asking for you to take action, okay? To do something different for once in your life, okay? To change your fucking life, okay? And the only thing, right, that I get in return is just a fucking rep boost. That's it. Just the rep and recognition that I think I very much deserve from all of these platforms because of what, I, what I've done for the community. Again, I'm being confident. Sure, you can call me fucking cocky. I don't give a fuck. If anybody calls you cocky, <laughs> they're self-conscious. They are. They're, they're sad that they do not have the confidence that you have. Ain't I love these lyrics, man. I ain't cocky. It's just confidence. Because I'm not cocky. It's literally just confidence and, the, and it's confidence that you don't have because you're scared of yourself. You're embarrassed of yourself. You're self-conscious about yourself and you're a child because you can't handle, you can't handle a grown man saying things that he's confident about. You can't handle that. People that hate, people that comment on my TikTok videos, oh, his house is an Airbnb. No, it's not. <laughs> oh man, I have bank accounts in different countries, bitch. You're not on my list. <laughs> you are far from me. You are far from me. Far, far from me. I see that shit and I laugh. An Airbnb? Bro, oh, bro, nah, my house looks so fucking nice that you thought it was a B&B. &B. <laughs> my house is so fucking brand new. You thought this bitch is rented. Yeah. Come on, man. There's levels. There are levels. And again, you can sit here cocky overconfident piece of shit he's rich and i'm not so i'm going to hate on him 
Hate always comes from below. Every single rich person that is doing far better than me, every single entrepreneur, and there's a reason why I get these connections, guys, because of my confidence. You don't see, there's like, I'm not, I'm not trying to attract those types of people that are hating on my videos, right? Those aren't the people that I'm trying to attract. I'm trying to attract the people that are higher up than me, doing far better than me. And I've made those connections due to me being confident because they see the shit that I do and I, I tell them what I do. Oh yeah, I just got this house. Damn, really? How old are you? 21. Holy shit. What are you doing? It's different from them versus the people below you. The people below you, that's not your house. No, you're renting that. That's an Airbnb. You don't have that much money. All your watches are fake. Bitch, I bought, I, all my, all my fucking, bro. Yeah, fucking Louis watch case, bro. Eat my fucking ass. Bro, I, like, it, it ain't. I, I literally have silver bars sitting next to me. Yeah, like, come on, man. Like, the, there are levels uh, to this shit. All right? And we are going to get you there. We are going to get you here and much farther because guess what? I'm only three years into profitability. So while I grow, you are growing with me. Yes, you're still behind me, but guess what? Y'all can probably learn a lot quicker than I did. Y'all will progress a lot faster than I did. Why? Because you have me teaching you and not some fucking dumbass trying to scam the fuck out of you like I had. I had to learn this shit on my own, bro. I had to learn this shit on my own. I had to, bro. I did not even learn liquidity sweeps from bitch ass ICT. I'm sorry. Okay. Y'all think I learned from ICT? I did not. I didn't learn jack shit from him. Okay. I learned through market experience. I literally, I called liquidity sweeps before I fucking knew what they were. I called them a London fake out. That's what I called it. That was like my patent for it because all I would do was trade GJ and I noticed that right when London session would open, it would fake the fuck out and then it would go in the opposite direction. So literally what I would do is when it swept liquidity, which I didn't even know what it was at the time, I just considered it a high. When it took out a high, I would press sell. <laughs> I would literally just do the fucking opposite and I would have a 15 pip stop loss. And that was my start to profitability because of that experience within the market, because of me seeing how the market moves. Okay. There was no, there was no ICT. I didn't even hear about that guy until I turned profitable until I had been doing this shit. So y'all can say I'm a fucking ICT clone. I do not claim that whatsoever at all. Yes, he is a great trader, and yes, he is a far, far better trader than me, okay? And I'm not scared to admit that. Hat is fucking off to him. He did his time, and he did, and he is an expert in these markets way better than I will ever be because I do, I'm going to be honest with myself and with you. I do not have the discipline and the, the time and the effort to do the shit that he has done, okay? So I'm going to tip my hat, I'm going to give my regards to him because he deserves it, but that is not who I learned from. And I hope you guys can understand that, okay? I learned this shit from market experience and that is the best way to learn, okay? And part of your guys' homework throughout all of this will guide you through that, will help you learn market experience, okay? And that is why this course is going to be so fucking important. It's so fucking important that you watch these videos and do all the pieces of homework that I'm going to give you because every piece of this shit is going to matter and everything that you miss out on is a misstep in the right direction. Is a, It's like, 
it's like you running a marathon, right? You're taking steps in the right direction, right? Watching my video, step, doing the homework, step, watching tomorrow's video, step, doing tomorrow's homework, step, 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 step. doing your own work too. All of that is steps in the right direction, okay? But, you know, if you skip steps, you say, watch the video. You don't do the homework, watch another video versus watch the video, do the homework, watch another video. Someone's a step ahead. There's always someone putting in more work than you. Every, sing every single time. There's always going to be someone up back testing when you aren't. There's always going to be someone writing down, journaling, which I highly recommend you guys do for this. In fact, let's make it a fucking rule. Journal, note this, okay? I will do the same. And for me, I'm not going to be talking about market experience. I am going to be journaling my thought process while I create this. This course, this boot camp, whatever you want to call it, I think it's more than that. I think this is going to be far more than a course because I honestly think I will gain a lot of life, life lessons from this. I think I will be challenged. I am challenging myself to be able to put out these videos for you guys. It's fully going to be a, a very, very difficult thing for me because it's hard to make a video a day. And in fact, I'm going to be making multiple videos a day because I still have to upload my live trades. So not only will I be live trading, documenting it for you, I will also be doing this for you. So there is literally no excuse for you at all. All right. That's all I ask. Take action. Don't, don't be fearful. Come into this with, you know, with an open mind. Don't, don't stray away from shit that I tell you. And guess what? Some of your homework, some of your homework isn't even going to relate to trading because a lot of the shit that I'm going to ask you to do all up here, man, a lot of it is going to be up here. And that's probably not what you guys are going to want. And I, I know that's actually what you don't want. You don't want that. You want this strategy that's going to make you a million dollars. Well, guess what? If you want that, look up the video because there's hundreds of those on YouTube. The shit that I'm going to give you, non-existent, bro. Not, it's nowhere on YouTube. And I know damn fucking well that this is going to be literally changing the fucking game. And that's what I'm here to do. And that's what I've been, that has been my plan since the start of social media. Since I started fucking pulling out my phone and saying, yo, I'm a kid giving adult advice. I'm here to make a fucking change because I know more than anything unprofitable TJR who was depressed, who had no money, who was just lost. Dude. Would just love to see what I am... <laughs> Y'all telling me this shit ain't real? Because he would love to see where I'm at today. He would love that, bro. And he would love even more... He would love even more <laughs> this, this, what I'm, what I'm about to give to you guys, this, <sighs> and I know I'm getting emotional, but this is what depressed, fucking lost, fucking broke, TJR would have wanted. And now that I can do pretty much whatever I want in life, 
that's that is my goal to to try and benefit you know people that that I know I can have an impact on and to do shit that I know old me would have loved to see someone in the position that I'm in to do you know like as a as a unprofitable person if I saw what I was doing now I like I would just give myself the biggest fucking hug bro um knowing it was me obviously but <sighs> like this shit like this emotion doesn't doesn't come from from lies this emotion doesn't come from doesn't come from nothing man this this shit comes from years of shit that's been built up This shit comes from from hard fucking work. And seeing that shit get paid off, bro. I'm living in I'm living in my dream house. I just I just slept here for the first night last night. And I, I'm living a life that I could have only dreamed about back then. It was always my dream to be able to live right on the beach. I'm not living on the beach, but I got a fucking pool and a hot tub. And I'm five minutes away, and that's good enough for me because I'm, I'm buying a fucking other house in six months that's on the beach. So, But... This is the shit that I dreamed about. And and here we are. And and I was waiting for for this Puerto Rico shit to feel real and of all times and it's and it never kicked in until fucking now when I'm making this video for y'all but You can't tell me that you don't want this. You can't tell me that you just watched a fucking grown man cry in front of all of you guys. You can't tell me that this isn't something that you would want. You can't tell me that you you wouldn't want to to be in the same position that I'm at right now. And that and that is all that I'm trying to do for you guys because as you guys can see I know how much fucking joy and and happiness and and just feel and just confidence. I I was never confident when I was a child. And I my my brother, I'm I'm sorry if you're watching this, man, but dude, you hurt me. You bullied me, bro. For years. Cause I was I was fat as as fuck and I and I know and I'm I'm glad you bullied me for it because it was it was a point in my life where I had to improve myself but you hurt me um, and this is this is the shit that young fucking fat self conscious someone who was. Someone who was fra afraid to even talk, bro. Someone who was, who literally would, would go to his room and fucking cry in his bed every single night because he was so lost. Because he didn't know what he wanted to do with his life because he, he had no sense of direction Seeing this would make that would make that kid happy.
and being even confident enough to sit here in front of fucking 27,000 people that's because that's how many subscribers I got I don't know how many how many views this video is going to get but you know being able to sit in front of thousands of people and cry fucking on camera <laughs> which does not happen often not even off camera either I don't cry much at all really um that's a type of confidence that would never be here unless I took a fucking change in my life. And you can see how that has benefited me. <sighs> Man, this shit's getting, <laughs> getting Man, this shit's getting real from the from the jump, but I think we'll we'll wrap it up with that, but if this video is anything to you guys, you know, um, don't take this shit lightly because as you can see over the whatever, however long this video is going to be like 50 minutes or 55 minutes or an hour, um, this is, is, is huge. And I'm, and I'm asking you to just take my hand and let me guide you. Let me show you the, the, the fucking human that you can become, the potential that you have. We, uh, we as humans have so much potential and we limit ourselves because of our own mind. Our minds are so limiting. And we, we, can, do, we can do all things. We can do all things. Everything we, we set our mind to, we can achieve. And I, and I stand by that. And I love that quote. That's honestly going to be my motto for the next year. We can do all things. And it's not I, it is we. We can do this. Okay? So, with that being said, all I'm, all I'm asking out of you guys, right, it's not much. It's going to be difficult. It's going to test your mental, it's going to test pretty much everything that you guys struggle with because that's what most humans struggle with. Humans don't like doing the hard shit in life. And the people that can do the hard shit and even just take one step on in, into that hard path, they're doing better than the people who decide to be comfortable, who decide to just sit back and relax. All right, man. So with that being said, it's going to be a great fucking summer. And I am just honored to be your teacher, your fucking sergeant for this shit. Because I'm, I'm fully ready to turn y'all into some fucking grown ass men, into some profitable ass traders, into just into respectable human beings. That is my goal. Um, this is far more than the trading aspect. Um, this is to, to just change your life, not even in trading, but for the better in terms of personality, confidence, the way you hold yourself as a man or a woman, because those are the things that matter in life. Money is honestly one of, the, one of the smallest things and one of the smallest inconveniences that life has to offer. Because once you have the money, you understand how little it matters. It is, it is minuscule. It is a fucking bump in the road compared to all the other things that matter in life. All right. So, man... Are y'all ready? Are y'all are fucking ready to do this shit? Because I am, and I hope this got you fucking ready and in the right headspace. I'll see you boys tomorrow, and I hope you fucking, you're, you're ride or fucking dying with me on this journey, because I know if I, if I get that strong response from y'all in the comments of this video, I'll be so fired up and I'll just be even more motivated to get these, to get these videos out to you guys. Um, and we're not going to stop for anybody. We're going to be a fucking freight train. All right. I'll see you boys tomorrow. 
hopefully um, on the charts, all right? Um, I, don't, I don't know what, what we'll talk about tomorrow, but this was the intro. Welcome to fucking boot camp. Get ready to get after it. All right, boys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's going to be good.